Number seven, oh, number seven, how many memories have you and I had? This Indian Chief Barber just makes me want to twist off a cap off a Jack Daniels bottle and just have a nice little drink next to a fire pit looking at that bike. another video guys today we're gonna to be talking about two American iconic brands in the motorcycle and Jack Daniels this Jack Daniels limited edition chief bobber is something beautiful I, I, I really love the execution that they've done on this bike everything looks really good and we're gonna be going over all the details we're gonna be going over what I think about the bike and most of all we're gonna have some fun with this one so two iconic American brands working together we're gonna have Indian the first motorcycle company and Jack Daniels the first registered distillery so 2023 marks the seventh year of the partnership between both companies and I'm gonna show you guys real quick the last seven bikes made in the past seven years really really cool stuff I gotta say that the Challenger was last year's model and that was my favorite till now. I'm not sure because this one here looks really, really, really nice. First of all, let's talk about the paint. The paint looks absolutely beautiful. And before we get into it, let me just say, Indian, can can we do more stuff like this on, on just the regular stock bikes? Because the matte paint on the bikes for the past few years is like kind of the same and it's kind of repetitive. It's a little dull. I know India wants to do, they want to go through this little dark face thing, this whole little DC Marvel thing of just going the dark way and it's cool, but I think we need a few more options now and I think we got to get away from the matte if you want to keep one or two color options for matte, awesome, but I think we got to do more stuff like this. Nice paint jobs that are going to stand out, that are going to make the bike special and tell a little bit more of a story like this one is doing here um this one here in particular is really cool supposedly they're actually using the actual jack daniels whiskey in the paint which is pretty awesome it just it that I, I just sounds badass i don't know I'm like my paint has whiskey in it that's cool so the paint job looks absolutely amazing i like the lines on it i like the different colors uh binding into each other it looks really really nice and clean and well executed. That small smoked windshield in the front looks absolutely badass. It looks really cool, really clean at that. And then that seat. So you're you're kind of giving this bike a nice classic look to it when you're adding the seat, plus that small windshield in the front, being a bobber at that, it just it just screams out, I'm old school, I'm here to kick ass, and I'm here to stand out. I like the fact that India is still kind of keeping that old school DNA in these modern bikes um and it's just like a a, a a twist of modern and old school mixed together and it's, and it's working very well now this being a bobber you're gonna have that chunky tire in the front looks really cool the mini apes up front which it gives you that whole bobber feel you got that mini apes you got that chunky tire in the front you got those lace wheels everything is kind of blacked out and i like i like the fact that the engine is not kind of all blacked out it would have looked nice but i like the i like the two-tone in in the engine case and it looks really really cool so <clears throat> so talking about the engine you are going to have that thunderstroke 116 in it uh that engine is full of pep that engine is fun to ride it's just and especially on the chiefs being such a light bike um and it's just a torque monster right? it you're gonna have a blast riding that bike i like the jack daniels number seven uh implemented all over the bike i like the jack daniels signature on the exhaust as well but just the, the number seven hints here and there um just binding it together just it looks really cool and then talking about number seven this is the seventh year and this is jack daniels whiskey number seven it's just like it it just it blended well the whiskey blended well it, it was it's a good mix this year good mix 
23 was a was a good year. Now this is a special edition bike and it's very, very limited. So they are only making 177 worldwide. So good luck on trying to get your hands on one of these. Um, I like the fact that it's very, very limited. When you're talking about limited, you should be talking about these type of numbers right here. Sometimes companies come out with limited numbers and it's like, oh, we got 2,000 of these or 1,500. And it's like, that's, that's not that limited. But when you think about 177, that's limited right there worldwide. Now, I don't wanna get into talking about all the details of the Chief, because if you wanna see that, I do have a few videos and reviews, especially on the new Sport Chief that I just uh, finished doing right now. I was out in Austin with Indian, and I was lucky enough to ride the brand new Sport Chief. That thing is amazing. So if you guys wanna learn more about this Chief, the Sport Chief, Dark Horse, just watch those videos. I'll be linking those up at the end so you guys can watch those. Anyways, last but not least, let's go over the big elephant in the room. How much is this bike gonna cost you? Well, this bike's gonna come in around $24,499. So yes, it is a pretty big, uh, that's a big increase from a regular dark horse. And <laughs> that that is, yeah. yeah. 50 bucks, that's a lot of money. Now what do I get for that? That's like 25 or $26,000 up. But for that, you're paying for a limited bike, you're paying for a really cool paint job, and it's just, and yeah, it's the availability of having this bike that you're probably not gonna see another one on the road if you have them. Wow. Anyways, I think it's really cool what Indian's doing with Jack Daniels. I wanna see more, more stuff like this. I wanna see them expand their portfolio. Now, if you are interested in buying one of these bikes, uh, hit the website up and um, maybe hit one of your dealers up, find out more information about that. I know they're gonna be pretty hard to get your hands on, but it's still early. This bike was only released a week ago, so you might have a chance if you wanna go down that route. Anyways, if you wanna see more content like this or more content with all the bikes that I have in the back of me in my garage. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button as it'll notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.